time for a little bit of mad scientist fun. Uh, what I want to do here is check the injectors, poppets, and the fuel distributor to make sure it's putting out fairly even fuel uh, across all the cylinders so they have good balance. Alright, I have already cleaned these injectors. I have back flushed these injectors, which is a little tricky, but you can do it. Um, these well, were supposedly checked a couple years ago, but this car, you know, when you're driving something 100 miles a year, you know, it's kind of hard on the fuel system. Anyways, what I've got here is fuel pump, a little bit of system pressure, kind of mocked it up kind of how it's going to be in the car. All right. And being mechanical fuel injection, let's just say I'm cranking it. This this will simulate uh, roughly idle. Get a nice even flow. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Even flow through all the cylinders. And a little bit of throttle. Pretty cool little sound it makes there. The real question is, do I need to replace these poppet injectors because anything past 90% tends to start skewing pretty hard. Uh, we're looking at an 8 to 10% uh, differential between all the cylinders uh, up to about 90%. From 90% to full throttle it goes from 20 to a, almost a 60% difference. One of the things to look for on this injection system also is to make sure you've not got any leaks. Uh, I've got the system primed up and I'm giving it just, you know, a few seconds, minutes, you know, whatever I feel is uh, decent enough. Like uh, that right there. This is one of our high flowing injectors. I think it might be leaking. for it. Yep. Okay, so that answers that. Looks like I'm getting a set of injectors. If I want to do one, I'm going to do all of them. All right, got another leaker. It's good. Good. And good. So, two leaking injectors two higher flowing injectors, I've got some weak springs. Uh, I don't care if they are new, or been cleaned, or have claimed to have been balanced, sometimes new injectors are definitely the way to go.